Hello Capricorns and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new. It is your girl Jazzy J on the mic and this is Earth Vibes Tarot. We are a Capricorn only channel but you are all very welcome here to the messages. Sit back, relax, take a chance my loves. Smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. And if you guys would like to participate in the monthly reading giveaway that we do here, make sure you guys check out the description box below. We are doing a you versus them reading. This is for past love. So if you guys are looking for the you versus them new love reading, make sure you guys check out the description box below as well. I'll also hopefully remember to tag it up here for you guys if that's what you are looking for. Let's go ahead and get into this message here for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. You versus them past love energy you versus in past love energy wow so romantic feelings and ex-lover is at the bottom of the deck i'm just gonna say somebody that you have on your mind capricorn the person that you are here for they they feel it falling in love affection happiness emotion this person ooh, they've got a lot of emotions for you single ghosted liquid courage maybe this person is is gonna take some sort of a chance here you're gonna find the energy, the courage to come forward. Maybe you're looking for the go ahead to go ahead and do that Capricorn, but there's definitely this mutual energy of romantic feelings, but let's go ahead and get one more here for the energy surrounding the person that Capricorn's connecting to in this you versus them reading for past love. We have protected and we have unavailable. The person is unable to give you all you deserve and protect it. You were safe and divinely guided Capricorn. Let's get into this. Bottom of the deck is interference, marriage, healing. Yeah. So it's almost like regardless of how y'all feel about one another, it's almost like y'all aren't able to come together for this specific reason. And it, it feels very much like this reason is coming from the mass of interference, right? That third party, you know, whether it's another person, whether it's their job, whether it's distance, it's, it's really keeping y'all from coming together in a manner of true on connectedness here. So Capricorn, with the Knight of Swords coming out here, we do have um, Gemini and energy. I do feel like this person has a lot of deep thoughts about you. I do feel like they think about you um, consistently. We're taking a look at their energy here first. This person may reach out to try to communicate, but they always kind of back away, you know, unknowing of how you're going to respond or unknowing of how things may, may actually go here. I do feel like there's this sense and in, in feeling of connectedness and, and love and affection and emotion between the two. But again, there's this interfering energy that's almost keeping the two of you from, from fully communicating with one another. We're going to take a look at their feelings and intentions here. Mm. Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy coming out with this Ace of Wands. And with it being in the feelings, I'm going to tell you this person has a lot of passion. There's, there's this sense of sensuality, sexuality. This person is very turned on by you. This person is very attracted to you. This person finds a lot of joy, a lot of happiness when it comes from you. They feel like you bring this sense of strength and vitality into their life. You know, there's there's a powerful, sh powerful, uh, strong willed energy that comes that comes with that. And then this Queen of Pentacles, this is Capricorn energy. This is your energy. It feels like this person wants to make you theirs. Capricorn wants to make you someone that is by their side in love and in health and in wealth and in stability. Right, someone that is you. I almost feel like this person is looking for a stable relationship, but maybe they 
maybe the both of you are unable to come together because of some extraneous circumstances. Bottom of the deck is the four of swords, the hangman and the whoa, yeah, the star and the tower. There's some mother effing ish that's going on here. It's like things have been at a standstill, but something may change. Capricorn, something may truly change here with that. Hold on. Oh. Something may change with that. I feel like there's some sort of en enlightening moment that comes in for this person and whether this is through a conversation with another person or whether this is just through the universal changes that are going on. I do feel as if there is this eye opening experience that comes to this person. We're going to take a look at your energy here. We're going to take a look at your thoughts, your feelings and your intentions. So wow, the Empress Capricorn, if you love this person, it is it is absolutely okay. I, I also feel like there's this very strong connection. It could be a strong friendship. It could be just a strong um, romantic and love connection in general towards this person. But there's this feeling of, you know, eternal, everlasting love. There's this, I mean, the Empress is Libra energy. It's Taurian energy. It's Venusian energy. There's a lot of emotions surrounding this person and got the eight of pentacles. And the feelings. Give us one more here. <clears throat> And the Knight of Pentacles, lots of earth energy here. I mean, just, just in general, overall, there's just a lot of earth energy here, especially with the Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and then also the Empress here. There's something very grounded and physical about this, this relationship or this connection. Overall energy here at the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. I almost feel like... I don't want to say y'all are waiting for each other, but for some of you, it's like, even though you have continued on in life, even though you have continued to do X, Y, and Z. Your feelings never changed. Your your feelings, it's like they just, they just grew bigger. They grew stronger. And those, those feelings, those, those emotions, it's, They always sparkled in your life. They never went away. And I feel like there's this, this cautious energy with the Knight of Pentacles here. But also very focused and very dedicated because I feel like with the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, there's this very strong focus on self. And it, it feels very much like you have done a lot of a lot of work for yourself, put a lot of energy into yourself. And, you know, your your feelings, your emotions never went away, but you just continued on. Does that make sense? And it's it's almost as if this person wants to come back. Somebody wants to say something, this person, it's it's but you both still have these feelings for each other. And with the Ace of Cups, it, it feels like there can be a spark of something new here. And it's like whatever this interference was, this could have been a marriage. This could have been a um, 
just potential uh, long distance situation or just any anything that could have right a connection or a commitment to something else that really interfered with the purposes of y'all coming together but it was meant for the the sake of healing healing needed to occur before the two of y'all could have have actually connected in this manner yeah there i feel like this is a relationship where there was a lot of passion a lot of pleasure i feel like just it feels really good. Let's clarify this energy here, please. If you guys are loving this reading, make sure you guys put that duck emoji down in the comment section, especially for all my people that don't like to type. You can just put the little duck emoji. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Make sure you guys are subscribed here to the channel. We are still trying to reach our goal at 20K. Bay bay. All right, let's take a look at your energy here, Capricorn. We're going to take a look at your energy here first. Tell us about this Knight of Pentacles as it relates to Capricorn's actions, intentions towards this person in this you versus them reading for past love. Show us what we need to see for Capricorn with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Ten of Swords. The Four of Pentacles. And temperance. Yeah, I feel like you have just been trying to find peace in your life, trying to find balance. And I feel like this is nothing really against the other person or the other energy in which you're connecting to here, uh, Capricorn. But um, I was going to say Katie for some reason, but the Ten of Swords, I don't even know a Katie. The Ten of Swords, the Four of Pentacles and temperance is very... Um, healing right very peaceful and it's like i'm gonna continue to do what brings me peace to do what brings me balance and to do what makes me feel um at ease and calm you know what i mean i'm i'm not going to you know put myself in a position that is going to bring me stress grief strife right but You're, it's like this focused energy, right? This focused energy. The fool empress with the devil. And I feel like even though you have this love, basically what, what's going on here, it's like even though you know you love this person and they love you, you understand that they're unable to give you all that you, you deserve, which is why you went on a path of healing, which is why you went on this path of understanding and enlightenment Capricorn and growth. And cause you know, there is a lot of growth, but there's a lot of focus, a lot of dedication here in this energy and really focusing on your health, your wealth, your future, um, and really loving yourself. Right. And, and showing that energy and standing in that energy and being prideful, um, and confident in, in yourself here. And this person may reach out, this person may, you know, feel this intense urge, but you are so focused here that you're not going to let anything break you because at the end of the day, it's like, you know, that this person is not going to be able to give you all that you deserve, especially at this point with the amount of healing and growth that you have done. Right. So I feel like it's important to, to, to see, you know, how, you're really in this grown woman energy, just very adult energy. Yeah, queen of pentacles. I feel like there's a lot of self-love, self-worth, really focused on creating a environment that is comfortable and balanced. Bottom of the deck is the lovers in judgment with the magician. You're a very powerful individual and you know what you have to offer here. Capricorn show us more for the Empress energy for Capricorn the four of cups and the six of pentacles yeah I, I there's this hesitation here um to really give and share your energy because of what you know of I feel like you're really focused on um yourself here I feel like you're gonna make the right choice Capricorn but let's take a look at this energy for the person that you're connecting to here. 
tell us about this Queen of Pentacles as it relates to their intentions and actions towards Capricorn. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles. It's a very independent energy. Yeah. We have strength, very independent, very confident, very strong. There could definitely be some uh, same sex energy going on here as well. Nine of Pentacles, strength in the chariot. So can't Syrian energy. It's almost like this person has grown confident in their emotions and how they feel um, and how they present themselves. Maybe this person is finally opening up and, and you know, communicating this to you here. Capricorn, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords, High Priestess, the Knight of Pentacles. Maybe it's been a long time coming. Um, and maybe you know that if this person doesn't come forward in a, in a certain way, then you're going to, you, you're continuing on, on your path, right? You're not going to let it, it sway you either way. But I do see, especially with two major arcana here, and then especially the nine of pentacles to the queen, this person could have actually gone through a major healing process, just as you have with the wheel of fortune, um, coming here. I, I do feel like there's some sort of a risk or chance that's going to be taken. Yeah. And the higher font, this person actually does mean business. This person isn't, isn't really hiding anything. A lot of major arcana energy. I'm just going to be very honest. And they're looking at taking things to the next level. They're looking at elevating life here. The ace of cups, the knight of wands and the king of wands. This person is very passionate, right? There's a lot of passion. There's there's a lot of in, intense feelings here between the two of you. But again, look, page of wands, two of cups, king of swords. This person, what they have to say is fact, right? They're they're trying to show you that, you know, I'm coming forward in a very mature way, a very independent, strong, possibly single um you know, I don't really feel like this person would come to you this confidently and still be with another person. I feel like they're going to be coming to you very clear headed, level headed and available. Um, and maybe in the past, it was the fact that y'all weren't necessarily compatible because of what was going on. Overall energy here, the Empress, the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. I'm just going to say this person wants to bring love. They want to bring affection. They want to bring emotion. And this is something that I feel like you have also been waiting for. You've also been wanting here, Capricorn. We have to really kind of be honest with ourselves with, you know, what we have wanted and what we've been looking for and, and what really the next step is. All right. Let's get a couple of closing messages here, please. And then we'll do some advice. We're going to close, bring this message to a close with some Oracle. Yeah. Divine timing. Divine timing is everything in this particular situation. And, you know, I think it's, it's in the best interest to really be open to, you know, who, what, when, where, why, and how, right? Yeah. Look, we have growth, release, and divine feminine. So, I feel like there has been on both parties accounts, a lot of growth, a lot of releasing, a lot of um, healing and this divine feminine energy, again, surrounding love, right? Surrounding that empress, surrounding emotion, affection, right? There, there seems to be communication that's going to be coming in. That's going to take you by surprise blind spot with marriage. So maybe this is about y'all two coming back together. Who freaking knows let's get some advice here for the situation as we end this reading please spirit advice for the situation be honest be open capricorn king of swords eight of cups and the five of cups Capricorn, allow yourself to see that you can have happiness after difficulty and after loss. The five of cups, the three of cups, or the five of cups and the eight of cups leads us to the three of cups, which is a sense of celebration. Um, it's, it's, 
you know, a gathering, it's friends, it's family. So understanding that even though you have gone through this loss, that doesn't mean you can't turn around and find happiness with somebody that you were once with before. Because I don't feel like this is, you know, necessarily a, definitely not a toxic situation here. This is something that is very mutual in nature. There was a lot of growth, understanding, things like that. Um, For others of you, this may be somebody that you're currently with and you guys have been going through, you know, a rough patch and this person has finally kind of opened their eyes. Things have clicked. But, you know, above all, this is about being very honest and truthful and understanding that, you know, the loss and the the let go is a part of the process. It's a part of life here. So I'm going to leave this here, Capricorn. I hope you found something insightful. If you did, smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll speak to you all in the next reading.